Hello everybody and welcome back to Popping Popcorn's YouTube channel. I'm your host Katie and today I'm going to be reviewing another Bayview Entertainment movie that they sent that they sent me to review. And this one is called The Poultry Guys Diaries. And this is an interesting um, movie. Um and I actually enjoyed it it was like a mockumentary slash documentary type of movie and it was filmed like that type of way um and there's a lot of movies out there that are filmed that way um but this movie is directed by yusuf uh his last name is g a l l a i i'm not sure how to pronounce that but it um he's done the whispering man Spirits in the Dark, Moth, and a guidebook to killing your ex, Boom, or something like that. And um, so this is like a Hungarian movie, or maybe he's a Hungarian director, um, because I researched it online a little bit. But um, this movie is kind of an interesting uh, take on like a documentary like style movie it's a horror slash thriller slash drama and um so the movie takes place um with um with a man named jacob taylor who disappears without a trace um and he's isolated in a cabin in the woods and with the help of footage, he leaves behind his family members and friends and detective try to find answer to the strange events that happened around him. And um, so as they go on, they're trying to figure out what um, what happened, like what events leading up to his disappearance and um, and like in some of the videos you can hear like strange noises coming through and um this film had like like a lot of his friends and family kind of like do like a video call or just like on film talking about the events that lead up to his disappearance and um so you just see these like um he hears different things and he doesn't know what they are and he's like calling out to the ghost or the monster or whatever the case may be and um and so they find the cabin his family or the um the person that's looking into it finds the um finds it um and stuff like that finds the cabin and they go into it and, and it's empty and they like ask spirit stuff as well um so i highly recommend this uh, movie it i give this movie an eight out of ten i uh really enjoyed it so it's more in the middle for me um and i thought that um the colors were pretty cool because some of the colors were like in um like when they were in the buildings and stuff they were kind of like gray and stuff um, I actually like the cinema photography in this movie. At one point in the uh, beginning credit scenes, they had the camera like twisting and moving and it almost made me like dizzy because because of the way it was moving. But I thought that was really cool. And it was kind of shot like it was like, um, like kind of like one person was holding like the camera. So the director wasn't really holding the camera, it seemed like, but I'm sure he was, but it just kind of like seemed like that the um, that the person telling the story or the person that was holding it kind of like something like the Blair Witch Project or something kind of like that type of movie type of thing of the camera angles, which really worked for the movie. And um, I highly recommend you check this movie out. I will link below um, the. Uh, so you can find the Bay um, Bayview um, Entertainment down below, so you can check out their catalog. And 
I want to thank Peter for letting me uh, review this movie. And I hope you guys have a great rest of the week. Bye, everybody. Mm -hmm.